Hi, um, my name is uh, Dr. Sesha Srinivasan here at uh, Florida Polytechnic University in Lakeland, Florida. I'm a professor of physics and engineering. Here, this is a project which we were trying to develop on how can we clean up the water which is contaminated by organics or heavy metals or many other inorganic solids like poisonous chemicals like uh, cadmium, cyanide and arsenic and so on. So this project, we, there is no commercial available reactor or photoreactor is available for us to use. So this is a homemade reactor which was uh, designed by one of our students, Isiano Carmona. So this reactor was developed. Basically inside you have a Pyrex one liter beaker where you fill in with your water and organic substance and a catalyst. But this uh, reactor is, uh, the, the earlier structure of this is the Pyrex uh, beaker is going inside. This is uh, on the old model where many of the, the UV light is exposed to the outside so that the, the lab uh, partner or lab team, whoever they have to use the, the ultraviolet uh, uh, goggles. So this is a new design. So based on the specification of the one liter beaker, so uh, the student designed this by using a 3D printer and the, the top lid also. There are 150 watts of light source with the four of them are going into this. Inside that are cooled by a flowing water so the water is cool for getting off uh, all the heat out. Then we have a, a tubing for uh, the compressed air because for the photocatalysis reaction, you need uh, oxygen so that it can um, uh, oxidize the chemical and disintegrate the chemical. So this has been done. So the temperature of these inside and outside temperature are measured constantly for every 30 minutes or so to see that it's not heating up or uh, it's not giving any harmful radiations outside. And also the controlled uh, compressed gas is maintained by the regulators that it will, uh, how much of flow we need for the photo oxidation reaction. So every 30 minutes we'll sample out this from this reaction. Originally, if you look at this untreated material, this is a methyl orange 20 ppm in water <coughs> that shows orange color, but over a time of period of uh, uh, sampling, then we see that the color changes uh, slowly into a decoloration. That means it's gone to that particular contaminant like orange color is chemically disintegrated so that at the end of the day, you get a, uh, it's not a clean drinking water, at least it's just free from the contaminants. We will further, further filter it to get use it for um, clean drinking, which could be potential use in underdeveloped countries or developing countries, or in fact in the United States, many of the, the contaminated waters can be treated by photocatalytic technology. Thank you very much.